problem that you could probably easily do with point slope form again. All right, that form over there. However, I think a lot of you understand this method, so let's just work with it. So we don't know what the slope is. All we need to do to solve this equation, or to find the equation, is to find out what m is and what b is, right? So we're given two points. So how do we find out what m is? Well, we have to go back to our slope form, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Right? So then we label these. Which one's x1, which one's x2? It doesn't matter. Do we know that's an x and that's an x? Pick one to be one, pick the other to be two. y1, y2. Yeah, as long as you're consistent, it doesn't matter. Okay? Just make sure you're consistent. y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1. Don't do y2 minus y1 and then do x1 minus x2. You know what I'm saying? But just be consistent and you're fine. So 9 minus 6 over negative 8 minus a negative 12. Right? Negative 8 minus a negative 12. Right. You guys have to be very careful when you do this. So 9 minus 6 is 3. 8 minus a double negative is now going to be 4. Okay? So now do we know what slope is? So we're halfway there. Now, so we write our equation y equals 3 fourths x plus b. But we still don't know what the y intercept is. So what's the only piece of information that we're given, Trevor? Well, we're not given slope. We just found out slope. But we are given two points. And remember the last problem? Yes, Chase? Yeah, because that's what we did in the last problem, right? We took the points and we plugged it in for x and y to solve for b. So let's just pick a point. Which one do you guys want to do? Any? All right, let's do the, I'll do this one. I kind of like this one. 9 equals, it does not matter. And if you guys want to do the other one on your own and see if you get the same answer, that's fine. So 3 fourths times negative 8. Again, remember how we multiply across, right, Austin? So we end up getting negative 6. All right, add 6. 15 equals b. So now we know b is 15. So now, ladies and gentlemen, do we have all the information we need to write the equation on the line? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we write y equals. 3 fourths x plus 15. Done. That's all you guys got to do. That's all you guys got to do. Yes, Jacob. Yes. What? Right here? 3. You remember when you multiply fractions, you do 3 times 4 times negative 8 over 1. You put that over 1. Multiply across. 3 times negative 8 is negative 24 over 4. Negative 24 divided by 4 is negative 6. Okay? Cool? So you can just choose any random x Yep. Was I ever chose 12? Yep.